There's a lot that can be said about Elon Musk, but there's no denying the fact that the entrepreneur and engineer have seriously disrupted the aerospace industry with SpaceX. The impact of SpaceX is getting more serious as its most powerful monster starship has now been fully stacked on the pad at Starbase, ready to launch into orbit. Find out everything about this in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Falcon, Dragon, Starlink, Starman. SpaceX has contributed a lot to our spaceflight vernacular, showing just how far the company has come in its first 20 years. Elon Musk founded SpaceX on March 14, 2002, with big dreams of creating reusable rockets, commercial spacecraft, and other advanced technology. Musk has said that few believed it was possible during an era when space agencies still dominated the industry and space hardware was mostly expendable, save for a few examples like NASA's space shuttle and its solid rocket boosters. Now SpaceX is a dominating force of its own, but owning the most powerful rocket flying has not stopped Musk from dreaming even bigger. SpaceX is currently developing a rocket that will allow Musk to achieve his biggest dream. The SpaceX CEO has a long-standing vision of establishing a city on the Red Planet. It would be self-sustaining, would be home to one million people, and would transform humanity into a multi-planet species. It is perhaps Musk's most ambitious goal, one that would keep him occupied for the next three decades. That's why Musk and his team created a new gen rocket, Starship. Towering nearly 400 feet tall, the rocket, Starship, is designed to take NASA astronauts to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship, which is being built at a Texas site dubbed Starbase, consists of a giant spaceship on top of a large booster, known as Super Heavy. Both can land back on Earth so they can be reused, reducing costs. The entire vehicle will be capable of lifting 100 metric tons pounds, of cargo and people into space on regular low-cost missions. The volume of usable space within Starship is a whopping 1,000 cubic meters, big enough to fit the entire Eiffel Tower disassembled. And that's got scientists excited. Like James Head, a planetary scientist from Brown University said, Starship is like, wow! Much has already been made of Starship's human spaceflight capabilities, but the rocket could also revolutionize what we know about our neighboring planets and moons. Starship would totally change the way that we can do solar system exploration, says Ali Bramson, a planetary scientist from Purdue University. Planetary science will just explode. If it lives up to its billing, scientists are already talking about sending missions to Neptune and its largest moon in the outer solar system bringing back huge quantities of space rock from Earth's moon and Mars, and even developing innovative ways to protect Earth from incoming asteroids. Central to many of these ideas is that Starship is designed to be not just large, but cheap to launch, whereas agencies like NASA and ESA must carefully choose a smattering of missions to fund, with launch costs in the tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars, Starship's affordability could open the door to many more. NASA wants to use Starship to land American astronauts on the moon, while the Pentagon will use it to move military cargo worldwide in minutes. Even the U.S. military has its own concepts for SpaceX rockets. The Air Force in January awarded SpaceX $102 million to study using the spacecraft as a cargo ship that could deploy resources to various parts of the world in a matter of minutes, or point-to-point -point transportation. This week, SpaceX also announced the first two crew members of Starship's second commercial spaceflight around the moon. Entrepreneur Dennis Tito and his wife Akiko purchased seats on a private trip on Starship. SpaceX noted that over the course of a week, Starship and the crew will travel to the moon, fly within 200 kilometers of its surface, and complete a full journey around the moon before safely returning to Earth. SpaceX said that the mission is expected to launch after the Polaris program's first flight of Starship and the Dear Moon mission, which SpaceX committed to launching as early as 2023. With flights potentially as low as $2 million per launch, Starship has the potential to really change the whole space industry. Sadly, at this point, these are great promises on paper. A Starship prototype labeled SN15 completed a high-altitude flight within Earth's atmosphere and landed without exploding on May 5, 2021. That's the last time the spacecraft, which NASA hopes to use to send Artemis astronauts back to the lunar surface, has left the ground. Many fans of space travel following the rocket's development may have been disappointed by the numerous delays. 
However, SpaceX is about to turn all that around by launching the Starship Super Heavy S24 B7 to orbit for the first time in a few weeks. Believe Musk, this is the moment when SpaceX is more confident than ever. Let's explain. Talking about their biggest hurdle first, the government's permission. The Federal Aviation Agency required SpaceX to undergo an environmental review. The process has taken over a year, and the agency finally published a list of 75 mitigations in June of 2022 that SpaceX must deploy in order to keep launching Starship prototypes. However, many of the FAA's 75 terms are very trivial non-engineering requirements that can be completed at the same time as others. Next, talk about the current status of SpaceX's hardware. So far, the SpaceX team already performed multiple tests of the Stage Zero, which includes all the launch pad's infrastructures like the orbital tank farm, the launch tower, arms, and mount, as well as the plumbing that feeds fuel to the spacecraft with a quick disconnect arm. Notably, the two main characters of the flight, the Duo 724, which has hinted at taking place in this landmark mission, have just completed a big milestone. On Tuesday, October 11th, SpaceX stacked the stainless steel prototypes that will soon perform the first ever orbital flight test. The 100-ton Starship SN24 vehicle was stacked atop Super Heavy Booster 7 with Maccazilla, the launch tower's robotic arms. The stacking operation took approximately one hour. It marks the fourth time SpaceX stacks the two-stage rocket. SpaceX founder and chief engineer Elon Musk said that the debut orbital launch could happen as soon as next month. Quote, November seems highly likely, he said. We will have two boosters and ships ready for orbital flight by then, with full stack production at roughly one every two months, he shared via Twitter on September 21st. Now that Starship SN24 is stacked atop Booster 7, the next big test is probably full stack wet dress rehearsal, then 33 engine firing in a few weeks, said Musk. It's unclear if SpaceX will immediately attempt a full wet dress rehearsal or a 33 engine static fire. Based on the history of Ship 24 and Booster 7 testing, it would be a departure from the norm if the company doesn't slowly build up to both major milestones with smaller tests in the interim. At a minimum, assuming WDR testing is completed without major issues, SpaceX will likely attempt at least one or more interim static fires with fewer than 33 engines before attempting the first full test. The weeks ahead are expected to be exciting in terms of Starship development, and space travel is really turning to a new page. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget to share your ideas in the comments section. Everyone's support will be the motivation for us to create more quality content. Thanks, and see you next time.